Oh, I got most of the tractors lined up, but today's video is going to be by special request. Michael Schmidt, you asked me how the H is plumbed for hydraulics. Let's take a look and hopefully some of you guys chime in and go, oh, well, I did it differently. So there's other options for Michael Schmidt. Boom. All right, so I got most of the tractors lined up. We're missing one. Which one are we missing? Well, I can tell you the one that we're missing is it hasn't been ran in about six months, and I got the battery on trickle, and that's going to be tomorrow's video, even though that tractor's going to start probably in an hour. I'll just go ahead and make the video, upload it tomorrow. But anyways, let's come over to the H. Give them heck. Hopefully you got to see that video, yesterday's video. I made a trail going around uh, my beggar field so that I could four wheel, but uh, we're on the opposite side of what we need to be on, so let's get right. All right, so here we go, and Michael Schmidt, this one's for you. Um, got the belly pump, this is old style belly pump, not live hydraulics, and uh, you know, you kind of do get used to running non live hydraulics after a while, and it gets to the point where when you get on a tractor with live hydraulics you don't know what to do with yourself but this one's plumbed pretty simplistically even though it looks more complex than it is you got your on off this uh this opens and closes your belly pump and i'm going to tell you something before we get far advanced at all i'm going to talk to you like you don't know anything about anything all right so if it kind of seems like i'm condescending you or treating you like you're too well somebody's going to watch this video in five years and they're going to need that kind of talk because they've never owned one of these tractors and they want to get one of these plumbed in well first things first i did not plumb this okay i bought it this way part of the purchase was this setup it was just awesome i just love it the other part was the fact that it came with an original international front end which was uh an option at the dealer so but anyways we're going to go right o back over to here and there's your fill okay right there these called right out of the factory for 30 weight oil now i run high tran in, in mine and the reason is is because just in the event that i have to hook something up like oh i don't know the 756 which is all high tran then i don't cross contaminate plus high tran is a really good oil it holds up to heat very very good there is a little hole in the top of this okay that's like a pressure relief my recommendation before we go into the plumbing and this and that and the other thing do not while you're using these hydraulics say uh, this is a plant and tractor so i pull the 510 grain drill and it has a cylinder and i have it hooked up do not keep this activated so in other words don't don't keep this pulled back like such because what that does is it allows pressure to build up and that hole don't look like much at all but believe me there's a video way back when of me uh planting with this and popping a top so so anyways you can see it comes out of the belly pump you got a an outflow and then a return line on the same side here comes up to this valve and in order to use this valve this has to be activated so you activate it with the rod once that's done you're good to go back up forward down real simple not a lot of movement there and that's cool I'm right-handed, so it works out great. Got the suicide knob, steering with my left hand, controlling with my right ski, and uh, now looking at it, I gotta get that new throttle assembly on here with the deeper grooves. And then you come right back here, you got your hydraulic remote. And man, this thing works like a dream. Just push them in, pull them out. Easy on, easy off. And uh, you know, of course, that's how it's plumbed comes right back here 
runs under the seat so your feet ain't stepping on it these are not big platforms and um, you know when we talk about like the 06 series the 1206 the 806 the reason I like the 56 series better is the, the the bigger platform that's that's really for me it just not a big guy but i i like i like my foot space but anyways so yep that's how it's plumbed she plumbed right there you can see the fittings and there you go and there we grow now let's talk about strength strength of the hydraulics what can it lift? Not a lot. I might be getting, oh, I don't know, five, six hundred pounds of pressure coming out of that belly pump. Okay. Now, if you want more lift capability, you just go to a bigger cylinder. And that's what I had to do with the M. Um, I was running those 13.6s, uh, those International 37 13.6s. And, uh, you know, this is plumbed here, too. And the dirt's on this for a reason. That's for tomorrow's video. But, um, you know, kind of plumbed the same. I mean, it's got that there, which I don't know. I'd have rather had it ran under the seat. I still can. It's not a big deal. This just, I can take that right off and, and run it under the seat. But it hasn't bothered me enough to do so. Um, this is This is plumbed a little bit different, but... You could still do it. I mean, some people call it the Christmas tree setup, but still the same thing. I mean, this has got two rods versus the one, and the reason that this has got two is because it doesn't have that type of valve, which I like better, by the way, just saying, not spraying. But to get more power out of these the tractors like this, the H's, the M's, with the, the 500 to say even maybe the later models were pumping out seven eight hundred you just go with a bigger cylinder i went uh i went from a two inch cylinder to a four inch cylinder and with the two inch cylinder i could lift it up pretty good but once i put that four inch now more displacement it was able to lift it up and of course when you put a new cylinder on an implement you're going to need to add some hydraulic fluid to compensate for that cylinder and some guys are like well how do i know when it's full <sighs> these have a dipstick down in them hangs off a chain unscrew it all right well, probably a good thing i took that off but anyways a lot of times these fall down into the belly pump that's not good you want them not in the belly pump. But anyways, it's a dipstick in there, as you can see. It's not always the easiest to pull out, but of course it's upside down. Let me wipe this off real quick. All right, and you can see full and minimum right in there. And uh, I'll be honest with you, I like to be a little bit more on the full side than I do on the minimum side. And a lot of guys will tell you, don't even use the dipstick, just fill it till it works. And as, as funny as that sounds, sometimes it's true. <laughs> yep. You just want to kind of sort of gently put that in there. You just don't, again, you know, I, I, I can tell you honestly, the one on the uh, M is different. It hangs from here on a chain and goes down, but this one's kind of nice. It's twice as nice as lice twice as nice as rice because it's not lice all right let me tighten that sucker down and then there you go and again you you run whatever you want you want to go the 30 weight i get it uh, i just i just know that hytran is some darn darn good oil it's only 10 weight but boy does it hold up to the heat and the moisture really really good you get condensation in there high trans better get really hot high trans deals with it better it's just it's my go-to for hydraulic oil it really is so that's the setup i hope it helps you out well michael schmidt and anyone else looking to buy a farm all h and set up some hydraulics i hope that helped you out 
Leave a comment down below if you have any other questions. Tomorrow's video, we're going to talk about the difference between a fleet and a collection. What do you have? Boom!